Hey, and we've been telling you all week long how big of an impact this could have on some of our neighbors. Yeah, we're paying close attention to this. Rafael Sanchez Cruz is looking at what a shutdown would mean for patients who depend on community health centers. Yeah, tonight we want to make one thing clear. A shutdown does not mean that clinics will close this weekend, but this budget impasse will have a real impact on community health centers. We're talking about the largest primary care system in the country that's at risk of losing 70% of their funding on September 30th. In our region, we have 51 community health centers. Many of them you might know. They might be your preferred providers like Unity Health or Community Hope. The district has eight, Maryland has 17, and Virginia has the most with 26. Tonight, I spoke with over a dozen of these clinics in our region, and they say that in the event of a shutdown, their services will not be interrupted. However, I met with the president of the National Association of Community Health Centers, who says this possible shutdown really has an effect on staffing. It has impact on retaining your workforce. It has an impact on patients who get nervous about whether or not you'll have the resources to deliver the care that they need. So it has extraordinary impact, particularly for providers and patients. Um, I will say though, the beauty of our movement is that we often find a way to be creative. I believe we're not only the best part of the US health system, we're also the most innovative. But this uncertainty month to month is not good for recruitment, retention, and our abilities to serve our patients. So the clinics that I spoke to said that shutdown or not, they're recommending that their patients go and get their checkups. And of course, we'll keep an eye out to see how this possible shutdown will impact these centers that are so crucial in our community.